This is video six of the algorithm for the psychopharmacology of acute mania. We are midway through the part of the algorithm that discusses acute treatment of classic mania. And we discussed the initial treatment choices in the last video. So in this video, we discuss what to do after unsatisfactory response to the first recommended treatment, which is lithium. So we think the add-on should be with a second-generation antipsychotic. This addition could be done quickly, though giving the first medication more time and using benzodiazepines for sedation is recommended, as we discussed in detail in the video on treating mixed mania. Anyway, as noted, though, quetiapine comes closest to lithium as a full mood stabilizer that works for mania and depression. The doses are 5 to 600 for mania. It's an FDA-approved add-on to lithium, both acutely and for maintenance. It's gotten an FDA approval. So it's the odds-on best evidence add-on to your lithium. Now, you may wonder, what about adding valproate? The evidence that valproate is effective in bipolar media is weaker than many assume and has been previously assumed, and it's been overused, we think, in part due to very effective marketing by the drug company starting in 1994 when they did their first quite positive study, and that got ingrained into the brains of a whole generation of psychiatrists who then taught that to the next generation. But there was a game-changing balance study among other studies, that evaluated the long-term effect of adding lithium to valproate. And there was very little, no clinically significant additional benefit from adding valproate to lithium over a two-year period in the balance study. And that's why we do not recommend adding valproate as your second drug to your lithium for acute classic mania. So what if you have added the quetiapine? or other anti-manic agent, and you still have an unsatisfactory response. What's the third-line treatment for acute classic mania? Well, as the arrow indicates, as you can see, if you can visualize our slides, since the two agents with the broadest spectrum of activity have failed, lithium and quetiapine, we now give more consideration to options with efficacy more limited to acute mania, and that is the other SGAs like risperidone and olanzapine, and we prefer those two. And we would suggest switching the quetiapine to one of these at this point to not have two antipsychotics on board at the same time. Add your risperidone or add your olanzapine instead of your quetiapine. But we also now offer you the option of adding the anticonvulsants valproate or carbamazepine at this point. Their third line, as we said earlier, we've demoted them to the third choice in this situation. They may have efficacy. And you could even add valproate here, as I said. And if you do, the plasma level suggested is 50 to 125, though no studies have found that level to actually be the therapeutic level for mania. Now, if you do add it to quetiapine, watch for the risk of adding weight gain and triglyceride elevation, as in particular been noted, which causes insulin resistance. So in conclusion now, the key points of video six, we recommend adding a second medication to your initial lithium for the management of acute classic mania, and we would choose an SGA, and the SGA we would choose would be quetiapine first, and then Two others with strong acute effectiveness that could be tried are risperidone and olanzapine. We don't recommend olanzapine due to its side effects. We prefer risperidone over it. 